The short answer is no. But why? To an extent, I think we've all forgotten about YouTube Rewind in the past few years, as it hasn't been a thing for about four years now. It started as a fun thing, and then it ended as a not-so-fun thing. It was funny, though, but not in a good way. YouTube is an ever-changing platform. Ever since 2005, it's never stayed still. It's like an ADHD kid running around everywhere, doesn't know what to do. So how does this relate to YouTube Rewind? Well, simply put, YouTube Rewind is a very difficult thing to do nowadays because there are so many content creators a part of so many different niches, there's no way to satisfy all of the fans, and there's just no way to showcase all of the creators without giving them half a second of screen time. Basically just fast forward through all of the rewinds and that's what a modern day rewind would be. Looking back at the old rewinds, you might think, who are these people? That's what I think of YouTube nowadays. Who are these people? I don't think anyone could make a YouTube rewind that captures all the niches and all the creators across the platform. It's just impossible. Even Mr. Beast tried in 2020 and that didn't work out very well, especially in the long term. Not a lot involving Mr. Beast has worked out well, that's another video for another time. Make sure to like and subscribe. I wanna go back through the YouTube rewinds real quick and see where they went wrong. And there is so much wrong that that is wrong, that went wrong. There's so much wrong, but it didn't always start that way. The humble beginnings of YouTube Rewind started as a series of clips. Ah yes, the days on YouTube when a girl crying about Justin Bieber was a viral hit. Oh wait, we're still getting those. Except it's a grown woman crying over Taylor Swift. I guess, I guess the internet really hasn't changed all that much, huh? As you can see from a lot of these clips, it's pretty pure, it's pretty simple. It's actually quite cringe. Justin Bieber. The viral videos in 2010 were just a bit more pure, simple, a, a little bit noisy, My God. literally. They're so pixelated. 2011 wasn't exactly any different, except it was hosted by Rebecca Black. Remember Rebecca Black? It's Friday, Friday, got it. I mean, I'm not singing that song. That song's for babies. YouTube Rewind, a very special event. Oh, it's special, all right. Aww. Like YouTube Rewind 2010, YouTube Rewind 2011 was a series of clips. A series of funny viral clips from the year 2011, so they're also pretty cringe. Yeah, okay. However, the status quo of YouTube Rewind was about to change, with YouTube Rewind 2012. At the end of the world, ah! It actually featured a few dozen YouTubers lip syncing to Call Me Maybe and Gangnam Style. Remember Gangnam Style? It was really cool to see a bunch of YouTubers get together and just have fun. Fast forwarding to 2013. Let's do this. Arguably the the best rewind, and don't argue back, or I'll slap you with a fish, YouTube Rewind had a lot more YouTubers, a lot more locations, and probably cost a lot more money. Rewind 2014 is when things start to go a little... <laughs> YouTube Rewind 2014 is the one that starts with PewDiePie falling through a roof. Yeah, that happened. Old YouTube used to be so... Weird. They ruined it. Rewind 2015 had the whip and nay nay. This was also the 10 year anniversary of YouTube. Rewind 2016, pen, pineapple, pen, and Damn, Daniel. Which has not aged well. I mean, white vans were already creepy. They're so much worse now. I wonder if Diddy owned a white van. Rewind 2017, I believe, is the one with the Paul brothers. Yep. Oh, dang. We might hate each other, but at the end of the day, we dance. And then there's YouTube Rewind 2018. Ah! So proud of this community. Pure hell. It's just, it's just pure hell. So proud of this community. I'm so proud of this community. Ah! I had to be entertaining somehow. I locked away the other guy in a box. So all you have is me now. Anyways, I can't believe it's already been five years since that cringe ass video. Let's get on to Rewind 2019. It's a list of video. All right, we're done with Rewind 2019. On first glance, the era of YouTube Rewind was creator-focused. Every creator felt like they were part of the same platform despite making very different types of content. As Rewind went on, YouTube as a platform continued to change. So the creators continued to change with it. And since Rewind ended in 2019, things have only gotten weirder. Most of the creators that would show up in a modern day YouTube Rewind are more entrepreneurs than creators now. Or they all make the same kind of content or have the same on-screen personalities. I've gathered 50 of 
the biggest YouTubers on the planet. And whichever one lasts the longest in this queue with that million dollars. I'm building a hidden gaming room in a school to hide from the teachers. I've agreed to give away $5,000. Today, I'm exposing the world's most evil babysitter. So how would a modern YouTube rewind even work if all of the creators are interchangeable or non-existent? There were plenty of familiar faces found in each rewind. Freddy W, Harley from Epic Mealtime, Logan and Jake Paul, Smosh, Jenna, I Justine, Tyler Oakley, BF versus Gia. Many different trends like the Harlem Shake or slime. Remember slime? Remember when there was an entire trend based off of slime? And the mannequin challenge. I actually liked that one. A YouTube Rewind felt like an event which recapped that year's most popular memes, trends, and content creators. Until it didn't. Even popular creators like PewDiePie were only included in two YouTube Rewinds. At the end of 2013 and at the beginning of 2014, despite being the number one most subscribed to channel until 2019. Many creators in the edgy era were never featured or mentioned. For obvious branding reasons. Uh, and that. Commentary channels, despite being at the top around 2016, were also mostly absent. Even gaming got less and less representation over the years, despite esports continuing to grow. This showed that YouTube as a platform only wanted to promote its most safe, clean, and advertiser-friendly content creators. Maybe for the best? So how was YouTube Rewind still a thing, despite all of the hate? Because the last couple rewinds were not received well, YouTube Rewind 2019 was a list video. And then we complained about that too. So they just ended it. But could Rewind ever tangibly come back? Like I said at the beginning of the video, the simple answer is yes, I'm just kidding, it's no. One reason why YouTube Rewind is likely to never come back is because YouTube doesn't really focus on the creators, but now they focus more on the content that is produced by the creators. Most creators are fairly disposable mouthpieces for advertiser-friendly content or shilling products. Speaking of which, let me tell you about my sponsor, Ball Trimmers. They trim balls. Mr. Beast up until recently was the face of YouTube, but with allegations and a recent cover-up, I mean a launch of a rip-off product of Lunchables, which also comes with a healthy dose of mold. The poster boy for YouTube has fallen a bit from the good graces of the community over the last couple months. That's pretty bad. Mr. Beast optimized how to make viral content, and it has bled into most niches in one way or another. Snappy intro, followed by fast-paced editing with voiceover to explain everything, usually some sort of narrative framing, a goal to accomplish. It's Basically, YouTube has become a corporate hellhole. Another major issue, one that I feel is the main reason why a YouTube Rewind wouldn't work now, is because there are just too many large content creators on the platform. All of these creators are a part of a different niche, covering an obscure topic that can get a million views now. Ever wonder where the rivers go in Skyrim? Well, any Austin has you covered. Thousands of grifters making rage bait content about box office numbers, haunted videos, commentary videos. Oh wait, even back when the last few rewinds were releasing, there were too many niches for rewind to cover properly. Vloggers, gamers, commentators, reviewers, animators, just to name a few relevant niches at the time. Content on YouTube is more optimized and the same, despite there being more niches and more content creators popping up every day than ever. It's sort of a paradox. Maybe I'm complaining because the platform has simply changed. Content creators changed. The content got better, better editing, better storytelling, but there's a core at the center of YouTube that I feel is missing. The variety of content has expanded the site to a point impossible to comprehend. More and more people are on the site and more and more people become creators who can reach a wider and wider audience. Trends come and go much faster than ever, especially because of YouTube Shorts, and with content from Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram constantly being re-uploaded onto YouTube, it's impossible to encompass an entire year's worth of culture in under 10 minutes. It's hard to say who's actually worth featuring in a YouTube Rewind. I mean, you could obviously name like 40 to 100 content creators, but if you asked anybody else, they would likely come up with 40 to 100 completely different content creators than you or anyone else. There's just too much content to keep track of. Just too damn much! I feel there's a lack of a core experience to YouTube. The cultural blurring effect. The blurring effect, yeah. yeah. That that falls in line with the concept of uh, the household name, unified pop culture, mm -hmm. where it's like, have you seen Jurassic Park? Yeah. Everyone in the world knew what Jurassic Park was. Because you all had kind of like that shared experience or um, exposure. We're a long way from a handful of famous content creators dancing to Gangnam Style. Even the earliest of YouTube Rewinds didn't have literally every relevant creator. But if a YouTube Rewind doesn't show your favorite content creator, you kind of inherently feel slighted. Would I love for YouTube to make another Rewind? Of course, preferably a good one, but I'm not too picky and my expectations are low. Whether it was misrepresenting popular creators while the Rewinds were still 
still a thing, or there just being too many creators, trends, or sub-niches to represent. Making a YouTube Rewind just clips from the past year might actually be the sensible option at this point. So maybe YouTube Rewind 2019 was, no, it was still bad.